Hey everybody, this is Ben, and welcome back to Timber and Stone. Uh, we are day 91. It is actually afternoon, but that's okay. I will be uh, just picking through a few things. Oh, look, there's some wolves over there. Cool. Uh, where are they? They headed. They're headed for death is where they're headed. Huh. Let's go check that out. Seems interesting. Zip, zap, dead. Oh. Oh, getting a little bit of lag there from this view. I don't think this is as, as well optimized or something. Uh, so let's switch back. Fixed RTS view. There we go. Um, oh, and there's one over by the, the wood chopping hut. Gather that. So we are day 91 afternoon because the last time I was in Timber and Stone was actually on my 5,000 subscriber live stream. I did pretty much a full walkthrough tour uh, in adventure mode with Diago, the badass forager. Um, so if you want to see that, um, I took him and I walked through like the inn and I walked through pretty much the whole castle and everything um i didn't walk all the walls and stuff but um yeah that's it was pretty neat it was fun and it's great to see all that stuff is um especially some of the newer things from you know the the level of an actual villager uh and the other thing i just did a little bit of work in the stream on the road going around the outside edge here i started building from this side to meet up with the road over here and i've got lots of stuff designated for the miners to to dig out uh wolf wolf Wolf, 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 I don't care. All right, so that is finishing up. We'll be finishing up pretty soon. Boy, those builders are really quick. Um, and then I will be able to have a patrol around that side, and I think I've already gotten rid of my archers. Oh, no, I still have, who is this? Blaze Pyro. I guess you can stay an archer, man. That's fine, you're like the one archer. But that's cool. That'll work. So, yeah, we are in fast forward. Uh, my storage is filled up because of wood. Um, I have both my wood wood cutters are on vacation at this point. I've turned off their auto harvesting because I got sick and tired of building new wood storage, which is all down, down here. Oh, and one of those needs an upgrade still. This one can upgrade. Great. Yeah, you know, carpenter to come do that. But look at all that wood... Storage. Those are all like full timber piles. They only provide 180 each, but that's that's really sad. Oh my gosh, those should that should be more. I mean, look at the masonry stockpile provides 1,500 for each of them. That's how I have so much stone, and I'm only like uh, not even half full. <laughs> my storage isn't even half full. It's only 10,000 storage space. So yeah, that uh, the wood seems a little out of proportion. In, in the amount that it holds. All right, arming caps. Yeah, go ahead and take them, man. Go ahead and take them. One solid hammer. Um, I believe hand tools. Is that strong? Well, I'm using strong hammers at this point. So yes, you can you can take my solid hammer. I am fine with that. And oh, we got the merchant. Oh, so the the hall. The hall is done, more or less, here. I was joking on my stream. I was about, uh, as you can see, got a couple of nice big tables there, and the buffet will be able to go right over here, but I don't have a buffet object yet. However, I do need a door. Um, objects, doors, castle gate, yes. And again, that's gonna open outward, because that seems to make the most sense. There we go, so that will fit in nicely there divide that off. Oh, and this, I think I can get rid of the treasure pile without loss in resources. Great. Okay, good. Now this can go back to being kind of like a storage room, which when I did the walking tour, this was one of my favorite rooms, actually. Seeing the way this stuff is all just piled up in here was really cool. It looked, looked super good, like it was totally just a just out of the way, forgotten storeroom where people shove stuff. It's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> and I don't remember if I showed it off or not. But oh, let's go down. Sorry, uh, the the treasury, the treasure hoard is done, and we still oh we have Rebecca now. Oh Rebecca, do we have someone? We have room for a name. 
We do. We have a Rebecca, who should honestly be an infantry. Well, Rebecca, you nearly slipped through the cracks, Missy. So you are going to be infantry. You are going to combat using combat training using dummies, and you are going to get a sword because that's mainly what we've got. All right, now you just need to come over here and just like, yeah, get out of the castle, go to the training yard. Thank you. You gonna make it? All right, she's gonna make it. Good. Um, and so the we could work more on the castle. Uh, actually, I will work more on the castle overnight. I think. Where'd that Rebecca? Oh, there. Okay, she's coming out here. She oh she went and got her sword. That's what she did. Yep, broadsword. Very good. Very very good. All right, Rebecca, you can do that for now because all of my new people um, should be trained up to be infantry. And so I overnight I'm going to be placing a few things in the castle, doing some decorating, and trying to figure out like what some of these spaces are going to be used for because some of them are very odd and and out of the way like under the stairs has become an it's, it's like a whole room behind the staircase <laughs> um which maybe another store area or something i don't know i should put some i should be putting some bedrooms in here is what i should do yeah all right so i'm gonna work on that overnight and also in the morning i will i gotta pull up my name list and figure out who rebecca is going to become probably a dude if I were to guess. All right, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, we are back. It is day 92, early morning, and I have gotten just a little bit done. Uh, we gotta find uh, what's is Rebecca for this naming, because I found out who, oh, is she just gone to, what are you people just standing by the bed for? You really that bored? What is your... You're a miner, and you're a blacksmith. Huh. Okay, well, I've been putting more beds in. Um, so... Shoot, where did Rebecca... She's asleep. I can still change. She'll wake up a completely different person. <laughs> so, your name is no longer Rebecca. When you arise, you shall be called... Nathan Wilkinson. Let me capitalize that. Wilkinson. Nathan Wilkinson. Welcome to the settlement. And Nathan's comment, all he just says, uh, please can there be one of the infantry named after me? And that's easy enough. Um, I, again, I make no promises about the, the professions or any other criteria other than the name. But for now, you're in infantry. So we'll see how that, uh, if that lasts. Our infantry is uh, pretty full. We've got quite a lot of infantry, actually. Like, like these, these people. But you know what? These are all just fresh people, I think, that I haven't really assigned. And I wanted them all to be trained. But we do need to do, one thing that was, uh, was brought up to me was that my food, I'm not getting as many migrants because my food supplies are more or less stable. They're not growing. And so we need to we need to make that grow again, I think. And I I have to to do make that to happen, I have to evaluate whether um whether it's the farm space or the number of farmers that's holding things back. I really just have 17 cotton. Is this Okay, hold on. Cotton farm, flax farm. Okay, cotton farm. I have a cotton farm. I only have 17 cotton. Huh. All right, well, I must be using the cotton for something, cloth or something like that. Oh, and the other thing then, overnight I had said I was going to do, uh, is start adding some stuff inside the castle. And about all I got done was throwing torches everywhere, which makes the lighting freak out, but it's their torches, so being all flickery is kind of okay. Um, and back behind the stairs here, I decided, like, oh, this is perfect. Servants' quarters. 
just throw some beds in there, so a couple of rudimentary pieces of furniture, voila, servants slash anybody, because I didn't limit the beds. And there's no servant job, no servant class, um, so anybody can sleep there. And that'll probably help with, like, you know, keeping keeping people closer to the castle. Everybody had been going out to the inn, so the inn's getting real full, which is cool. But, uh, oh, we got some skeletons that were killed over here. Gather resources, gather resources. And my carpenters are still working way out there as well, but I don't seem to need them terribly often. Okay, so one thing I want to do, I want to get rid of this masonry stockpile, but I think that back here is actually a perfect place to keep a stockpile. So let's masonry, let's do that. Oh, no, it's, oh, it's too big. Wood? Is wood that size? I think, oops, uh, storage, wood, timber pile. Yes, okay, cool, timber. Timber, we'll go back there, sure. We got the timber, we got the stone. Oh, yeah. So, this space, I'm still kind of waffling, like, what do I do? I don't know. Um, and then upstairs, I'm... I had said uh, in the live stream, this area with the balcony, th that's going to be like the throne room-ish area. I'm just not sure how to lay that out yet. Um, I guess I really got to have the this be the back because there's windows all along this side. Or, no, what am I, where did my cursor go? Jeez, along this side. Oh, did the cat the gate for the the hall got finished? Nice, that looks great. Love it, love it. So let's uh, kick up the speed, and I wish I had could put in like gold flooring, <laughs> uh, something like that, because I want something like really nice. And there's nothing. Ew. Tiles are okay. Planks are all right. Um, and a fancier furniture too, like just a bazillion more options on furniture. Flat stone is, is one of the nicest looking. What if I just say screw, okay, let me slow, let's slow this back. Oops, slow this back down. Um, screw using flooring. Let's just look around at everything. Like say walls. What do I, what do I get on the top of these walls? Timbered, timbered anything. Okay, castle brick. That might be a nice even thing. Castle ruins looks the same on there. Ooh, what if I do plaster? Full timber looks the same. Pale brick. Ooh, there we go. Plastered brick. Not so nice. Umber brick. That could be cool, but I think I like the pale brick, actually. And I'm, can I turn this off? Just go with the straight up square slab. I don't want a pillar or anything. Okay, so if I do this, so like we'll put a couple of the, the thrones, etc., would be like there. And then we have some room for like a guard on each side. So another three, another three, and then some space in front. And then extra space because it's kingly, and then a nice little, yeah. Let's see how that looks. Hmm. You know what? Oops. Um. You know, that's too, That's the same as the walls. It looks exactly the same as the walls, and I do not like that. Dig mine. Okay, get rid of that. Great. So, um, umber brick, perhaps? That could look okay. Let's see how that looks. Are there some miners? Yeah, they are. Okay, they're making their way up here. Good. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? That looks the same as the wall because I turned off the like the etching stuff. Ah, interesting. Huh. So Fieldstone, that's too mossy. Ooh, skeletal infantry has been spotted by Blaze Pyro. So what are you gonna do about it, man? Nothing. Diddly squat. All right, good for you. Obligatory useless archer comment. <sighs> All right, we are midday. I wanna get this throne area. Oh, these things need to go. These are, these are ugly, these are in the way. Um, yeah, I'll just deconstruct that and that. There you go. Get you out of the, the royal suite. So, one thing that I'm going to have an issue. Oh, I heard Twang. Twang. Oh, he's shooting him. Go away, merchant. You! Over here. Please! Gurg! There you go. Hey, hey, there you go. Yes, you can reach him. He can't reach you. This is going to be a really expensive kill. <laughs> hey, he killed him. Go, Blaze. Woo. It's only like the third, third kill by an archer ever on this settlement. Oh, and there's another one over here. So if I send... Uh, like workers out there. I wish the archer AI was better. It would be so nice to have a bunch of archers like just going around the walls and you know checking out the towers and stuff. That that would be really great. It'd be a really much more castle like defense. I feel like yeah, skeletal infantry has been spotted. Okay, good. Yeah, you just keep coming closer. Next time Blaze comes by, he'll kill you. Oh, never mind. Thiago. Thiago's in the area. He's gonna steal your kill. Oh, that's totally close enough. There you go. Blaze. It's so indie size. Oh! Are you kidding me? You're an idiot. Archers are idiots. Why can't I tell you to. There! Oh, jeez. Oh, you got him. Alright. All right, that's something. Yes, yes. There you go, look at that range. Sweet. That's way farther than I thought they would shoot. I mean, you should shoot that far. You have a freaking long bow, right? Yeah, it's the, the longest bow. I still miss the uh, ability to display. There was an option to display their range. It was made like a... Uh, Kind of like a, a hazy sphere around their position. So nice. Yeah, there's still nothing like that. Okay, whatever. Okay, back to the castle. Castle, castle, castle. Hum. That looks okay. What if we do... What about... Let's just try the plastered brick out. Maybe it'll look better than it looks in that little preview. I don't know. <laughs> And what else can we try? Um, mossy plaster, ew. Okay, let's try the pale brick without turn off that option, the, the like etched, side etched option, because I think then the tops, um, tops will look different. They'll be more like, It'll be more like essentially the the umber looked there, yeah. Nice square tiles. Okay. So how does this plaster look? Kind of junky. But. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think I have an idea. I hope these miners can get up here and finish this quickly. It is late afternoon already. 
and they take a while to mine out this uh, the, the brick. Okay, good. All of them are headed up here. Good, good, good. All that work outside on the road is done. So there you go, guys. Dig it up. Because I... Well, if you're looking at this, maybe you figured out, I think I'm going to try out, like, a checkerboard design. Do the chessboard. Checkerboard, whatever. Black and white alternating with the umber and pale. Walls. So... Pale brick... And come on. Man, someone's slamming the door downstairs. Ah. Okay, so pale brick will start there. Blaze! <laughs> and you were doing so well. Where the hell are you? Yep. Figures. Well, Blaze, I am terribly sorry, but such is the fate of an archer. Blaze Pyro went out to confront a skeletal infantry. Actually, that's those are well-equipped skeletal infantry too. Those are the tough ones. They got like the mace and the shield and everything, so they're the tough ones. He went out there, thought it'd be a brilliant idea to go take them on toe to toe with his bow and arrow and some very, well, some scrap metal now. Very light armor. Oh, it's a shame. It's a pity. He was too young. Ah, oh, I guess it's getting to be time to start working on that cemetery. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Construction walls. Pale brick, right? Those are pale? Yes. Okay. Nope. There we go. Checkerboard, check, checkerboard. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. That's how big I had made it. Who are you attacking now? Oh, don't worry. It's Thiago. <laughs> Took a little bit of damage. I wish they had a kill tracker. I think Thiago has by far more kills than anyone. There, 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 there. Great. Now we go to Umber Brick. And like so, like so. see how that turns out. Might be bad, might be good, but I think I'm sticking with it. It's the fanciest thing I could come up with in, a, in an in-game day. So it is dusk. Uh, we didn't get tons completed, and I did not get to do my farming evaluation, but we have gotten to work on the inside of the keep. That looks pretty good. I think that will definitely do for the, the, the royal pedestal or dais or whatever Whatever you're going to call it. So let's go furniture. Uh, all we have is wooden chairs. I don't know, man. That's not exactly king and queen type stuff, but whatever. So comfortable bed. So this is all the furniture. Oh, they need a fireplace. Um, I guess. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that. Oh, look at you. You you presume too much, Mitch Bon. <laughs> I built the throne, I'm just sitting it. Oh, oh, look at that. And Wade Dryden, Mitch and Wade, troublemakers. You two. Oh man, gotta keep my eye on you. Gonna usurp the throne. All right, so it's evening, day 92. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna be back on my regular schedule for especially Timber and Stone videos. They're having a rave inside the, the keep here. Look at that lighting. 
And I really had fun on the live stream. Uh, it, it's the whole thing, whole six hours is up on my channel. If you want to go ahead and watch it, played a bunch of games on there. Uh, got some Factorio, did some Terraria with Raytac. Um, I tried a little bit of Space Chem. I even played some Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe, o Open TTD, which I haven't played in a long time. It was fun. Try to remember how that worked. And it was overall a really great time. I had so much fun. I want to do it again. I just got to figure out how to fit that all. And this is going to be quite a long episode, so some of you will probably like that. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode. Ince, 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 ince.